All right, what's up, everyone? We're back. We got Hello Number Two. Uh, this is a speed run as of what is today? Christmas Day is today, the twenty fifth of December. Um, this one should run into twenty twenty three. Uh, this will be a slow run, so that you can understand what's happening. I've got the keyboard overlay up there, that uh, should work. First thing you want to do to speed run. Go to settings, reset all your progress, and also go into graphics this doesn't work on console i believe i'm not sure play on unlimited frame rate and then you'll go back out your load times should be faster with unlimited and um we have to change to 30 later on which is uh annoying but all right so your first load you when you want to do speed running you want to play through whole game finish it the, in the speedrun style, just get through it with nothing quickly. And then get back here, reset your progress, every, set it back to ultimate, unlimited, and then do it because otherwise it'll be really slow. Uh, and the loading screen is like really slow. You want to turn, jump over. Uh, doesn't really matter how. And then here you want to crouch, jump, and the only way. What's my. There you go. My mouse on the screen. I don't know why. What you want to do here is crouch jump, which is jumping. And then the same moment, press control, which is crouch by default. You can change it to whatever you want. But for me, it's control, as you'll see in the overlay. This is crouch. This is jump, face bar. You want to do both. Just the control just after. And then you hold it. You'll climb out. You sprint around this side. You hit a cutscene, skip it with enter twice, or just spam it, and then you will load into the next level. You just want to do a cutscene, skip this, pause the game. I like to use the arrow keys, it's faster, but you guys go down, load last save, enter, and then you're here, you want to run inside, but I believe the police officer is at the door for some reason. We're just going to reload the save and hope he goes away. There we go. So he's going to spawn over to the bookshelf. Yeah, open this door. Run over to this door. Crouch. Climb into it. And I failed. This one isn't the easiest. I'm going to read because he's going to be the door again. This one isn't the easiest. And it's very hard to show in slow motion. I'm going to try and get the policeman out of the house. I can show it really quick. All right, we got time. So you're going to walk up to this. I like to get as close to this as possible. Then you, this, when you jump, when you're fully standing, you can sprint. You can slow the video down, see the timing. But you want to jump, hold W, and then once you're fully standing up, start sprinting with shit. And you'll go straight through the door. Then you can come down here, press E on this piece of paper, skip the cutscene, and then you'll spawn back in. You're going to want to pause the game straight away. Go down to load last save. Enter, that level's complete. It's not usually that difficult. I messed up the first time, so... And I always have to do it slowly. But normally the police officer won't be an issue because you're going to do it so fast, it won't matter. This one's very easy. You run inside, press on the shovel, scrub the cuts in, and you're done. Get past that one pretty easy. Load the last save again. Loading saves is like teleporting essentially you're just skipping to the next spot where you have to do the mission this one open this door open this door grab this this is going to be used a lot actually we almost got a call but don't worry that and here we go. we'll go into settings graphics 30 fps which uh doesn't look very good but it's about all we can do so we're gonna wait for her normally you wouldn't have to crouch look Somewhere around here, take one step back, just a split second. Jump, look side to the left, and shoot. I'll do it all in one motion, you can see it. Slow it down. I just hit it too early, I'll try that again. Uh, so you can slow that down, you can watch it, I'll probably slow it down myself. But at some point... Unless I can't even grab it myself, I'm this that bad. I think I'm too low, so I'm, I'm gonna have to reload to save myself. 
every loading screen takes longer uh, based on the FPS, which is why 30 FPS is worse and you're always going to play on unlimited. So you get as much as possible for your computer. Loading screens don't really matter. It's just no one likes looking at them. But uh, yeah, ideally you want to do this first try. Go up against this, tap it once, jump, oh, jump, shoot. And then looking this way normally, because then your hitbox is in it and you'll see the hand pop up. Press, it loads. Out, load last save, gone. That's just a cash register um, skip or whatever it's called. The bakery skip. That one's uh, not too difficult once you get it down, but it was very frustrating for me because I was doing it in a weird way. This one, you're going to want to run inside and the neighbor will actually be in here. So when you open this, he will be somewhere. You're going to want to run past him. Hold space by here so you auto climb. Thank God he didn't see me. You're going to want to crouch up against this as far as you can. Look slightly to the right. Jump, hold A and S, and then shoot. You want to get fairly high up as well. You, If you want to get fairly high so you don't clip into this they are table. And then you'll spawn in, you'll get into this room. Come over here. E on the bottom half of the picture because that's where it's clickable. Skip the cutscene. We're on the next level. Skip that cutscene. Load. Now this one's a bit iffy. That's the next level. Um, because I actually can't do the fast skip. So if you want to see the fast skip, you have to go watch someone else. Uh, preferably after you finish this video. Um, I'm not sure if anyone has the fast skip in a tutorial, but they they've done it in the fastest run on the game. But I can't do it myself. You, the fast skip is come over here, crouch, look just somewhere around this spot. Doesn't really matter to be honest. Then you jump. And you W shoot and you want to go inside of that. Then you have to sh sprint as well. I'm not sure how to do it. Yeah, and then when you start jumping out of there, like you saw, I start spamming E. You meant to be able to pick it up. I can't do it. The way I do it, and the way a lot of people have been doing it, until you, I would say, do it my way and then do it that way just to get a run in that, that you're comfortable with. So, my way, you want to pull this out. And basically, the way you fly with this is um, you're going to want to fly by space and left mouse button at the exact same time. You can't you can't delay them and uh, you hold them for just a short amount of time. And then you can start flying. And you have to wait. A, you have to hold them for a certain amount of time. And then you have to wait a certain amount of time and then do it again at the exact same time. If you do either one off from each other it doesn't like to work properly you don't get very high either so press them at the same time wait same time wait you'll get the timing down if you practice a few times but basically we're trying to get up to there and um if you just walk forward you'll get momentum and then you can just start shooting it and then you'll be like me and you fail it in your own tutorial um uh, it doesn't really matter. I'm just going to get up here and we'll get to the next part. Okay, so you get up here. Once you finally are, uh, you know, skip everything I just did. Open this with E. Jump and hold the base while you're climbing right through. Jump on top of this. Once you're on this, walk to the corner as far as you can. Looking right here so you don't walk off the edge anyway. If you look too far, you'll walk off. So just look right here. Hold W, you're in the corner 100%. Then you want to do the crash jump again, which is where you space bar right after crouch, like instantly pretty much, not at the same time though. Then you want to look up this way. There'll be a shovel through the ceiling. You want to grab it. So it's crash jump shooting at the same time. Without W, you'll bounce off this and then you'll be in the right position to grab it. Ready? Spare me. Look at that. Got it. You want to look, you want to get at the top part, the, uh, the red. Oh. All right, I got the shovel. Um, so what I was trying to show you is that red part right there. 
if you want to click on that bit, because this part's really hard to grab. And this part isn't even grabbable when you go through the floor. So you want to grab at the highest point possible. There's a lot of space here to grab. Just spam E on it, you'll pick it up. Then you want to come back down here. You want to jump onto the chair, ideally. You want to jump from there to the chair so that you don't die. And if you can do it well enough, you can land somewhere around here. And then you can climb while falling. Um, you want to come down here. Double click this. It'll shovel it up. Re-select the fire extinguisher. Looking right here. Hold W. You won't be moving anymore. That's when you know you're there. Look right. You want to turn the graphics up just a little bit, not on all low. So you have this dark patch right here. Then you want to look somewhere around the middle of this and the corner, somewhere around here. Space bar. And right after space bar, like as soon as you can, W and shoot at the same time and hold it. And you'll, you should, you'll get inside the safe. And then you can grab the key. So space bar. Shoot. I actually did it wrong. Yeah, I got to look more to the right. I looked at the wrong spot. I'll just do it. Now, this is the whole thing of like learning it 100%. I haven't speed run, I speed ran the game for like a week, and I've already, I'm already just off like the simplest things. So we're gonna go here, pull this back out, crouch, get in the corner, look more to this side, jump, shoot, and then you can pick up it up. And then grab that. That'll reload you here. Load last save. Now I believe we're back at the neighbor's mansion. This one is a very fairly easy level. Because the neighbor shouldn't see you. And if he does, then you got very unlucky. Because he normally always spawns in a location where he can't see you. You're going to run in here. Up. Oh. You want to jump over this, by the way. There's a missing piece here and it can stop you. When you're sprinting. You want to jump up at this one. The left one. Jump up to here. Holding space fast. So you keep climbing. Open this. Run over to the safe. One, one, three, five. Grab the camera. Grab the cutscenes. And then we're back. At the house. Uh, reload the last save again. And then we should be at the wide mansion. Uh, which we haven't seen yet. Which includes the flying again. Although speedrunners have found a new technique that they haven't successfully gotten a run, I don't believe, with a with the key from the last level. Um, obviously, if they can't do it, I don't expect myself to be able to do it. So I'm just going to do it this way. This is how they've been doing it. So you just want to run, do the flying thing. Fly up to this one just once, and then run up here, holding space bar, shoot, straight through there. Crash against this, against the wall. Jump, L uh, D, I think it is, and shoot. Through this wall, pick the key up, skip it. Load last save. Now we're at the end. We're actually at the very end. This is the last bit, I believe. This one's a little bit more tough. And I'm going to take it slowly so I don't get caught. But in this one, when you spawn in, you want to go straight to where I'm going to show you. Because the neighbor won't be up there straight away. You can get up there just before him, fly up, and get through the ceiling. But I'm going to do it slowly so that he won't be there. And therefore, I can go up here and show you how to do it properly. So you want to come up here. He should just be standing here. You want to stand, or you want to get to that part. Just beyond it. So somewhere around here where I'm aiming. You want to be climbing this thing. You want to do a flying thing. Hold space bar. And you climb through. I don't know how that one works to be honest. Then you want to lob with right click. The fire extinguisher. Okay. <laughs> and uh, I don't even know where to throw this properly. But you got to lob it somewhere. Where it falls in. There you go. Pick this key up. Open this, open this door. The moment you walk through, it'll trigger a cutscene. Skip it. Then you want to come over here, pick this back up. And the reason we're dropping this in here before we do the cutscene is because, as you can see, it takes my inventory completely. My shovel and my keys are gone. 
You come up here, jump over this, crash against these boxes, look over here towards the light, and then when we're going to jump A and S at the same time, shoot at the same time, then we'll glitch outside onto this platform. Preferably you want to skip the platform altogether and just keep shooting. Then when we come down here, we're going to drop. We're going to do the flying thing before we hit the ground, like quite a bit. I'll show you how to do it, but I just want to make sure that you don't hit the ground because you will die the moment you hit the ground. And you'll go back inside the house and he runs over. I'm gonna drop. There's a flying thing. Preferably not there. Get on top of this. Run inside. Hit the door. And he runs over right there. The moment you hit the door, run stops. And the game is done. One thing I actually didn't mention is the run starts once the cutscene at the beginning. Uh, I'll show you it really quick, but the run would start. I'm going to reset my progress so that I can show you this really quick. You're going to... New game. When you spawn in to do the speed run. Not here. You wouldn't do it here yet. You'd press enter once so it pops up. The skip cutscene thing. And then the moment you press, it would start right there. And then the cut run would start. You jump over this and go crazy. Go as quickly as you can. The world record's like a minute 57 or something. It's ridiculous. Um, he did the shovel skip where you skip flying and you go straight through the dirt. That is difficult. Only a few people have done it. It's pretty It's pretty tough. But uh, thank you for watching this. This is pretty lengthy uh, for a speedrun tutorial at least. I'm going to cut out the bits I don't need that are necessary. But you, it can make it a bit easier for you. Thank you for coming along. If you enjoyed this video, you should like, subscribe, and comment. If you found this helpful, share to your friends and family so they can. And I uh, hope, uh, hope you watch more of my videos in the future. Come across my videos, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.